Anyway, y'all, I want to introduce y'all to the number one urban designer. Never used in the city, clothing. In the city of Philadelphia, L. Revere, aka the baby sis. What up, dog? Hey, what up, dog? What up, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I ain't even going to take up too much of your camera time. Introduce yourself to the people, man. Hi everyone, um, I'm El Revere, also known as LaVita Revere. Um, I am a Philadelphian, mm -hmm. as people say it. I am a clothing designer, a seamstress, a tailor, all wrapped in one. Um, I have a men's and women's urban wear clothing line, and I also make wedding gowns and prom gowns um, and custom wear. So, tell us how you got started. Yeah. Um, well, I always wanted to be a clothing designer. Well, when I was younger, I wanted to be a model. Mm -hmm. But um, I was too short for that. At yeah. the time, they didn't have like the shortest model. I'm only five feet. So, yeah. you know, I decided to make clothes for celebrities. Solid. Um, and that's what I do now. So, so, one day you decided you wanted to make clothes. Like, how did it start? Did you just pick out a shirt and make it yourself, or? Um, well, when I was younger, um, I used to be amazed with the Vogue magazines. Um, this is just, both, both my grandmoms are seamstress. Um, I actually started out doing hair. It's funny, because I always worked for myself. I've always been an entrepreneur. I started doing hair for people in my neighborhood when I was like 12 years old. Which I, I know, which led me to going to hair school, and um, once I I went to hair school, there was like a big showcase at the end of the year when you graduate, and one of my um, classmates made all the people's clothes, and I was like, wait, that's what I want to do. So I graduated hair school, got a cosmetology license, and then I went straight to school for fashion design. Never looked back. Nice. So what did it feel like the first time you saw somebody other than your, other than your friends and family, like your close-knit people, like wearing your shit in the street, though? You know um, what I mean? It's, it's really an amazing feeling um, to, to see where I started from to where I am now. Um, in the beginning, I would make prom gowns for people in clothing, and I would love to see other people in my clothing. And... Um, I would never wear my clothing in the beginning, and people would say, always ask me, is that your, is that your design, is that your design? So then I started ha having to wear my, so it kind of like forced me to mm -hmm. wear my own brand. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely an amazing feeling. I like to see the smiles on other mm -hmm. people's faces. Uh, the fact that I can make someone happy or change their lives by wearing my clothing, my designs, it's, it's, a, it's an untouchable feeling. Word is born, but I'll tell you. I knew you for two years. Like I seen the, I seen the glow up, I seen the level up. Whatever slang people want to say, right? Like I watched it. I watched. She it. was dressing a little different when she came to the radio show. No, no, no. 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 Well, that probably I, still was. No, like, you, you, you didn't have one El Revere when you came here. You had on some. some yeah, you ain't have man. those heels on. <laughs> no, she had on some heels like I that had heels with on. some jeans on. I did. It was summertime. She had on a little wife beater with the hat. You know what I'm saying? And she was promoting her shit. She was about to go out of town. Mm -hmm. She was talking about cooking meals for Mr. Revere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was. We had that big You know what I mean? We had a big conversation about yeah. women's roles, gender role, and how yeah, you can be successful. And because that's baby sis. I'm not going to mm -hmm. call it baby sis. I don't pay attention to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so now it's two years later. Rap niggas rocking your shit. Mm -hmm. Jealous motherfuckers rocking your shit. Rap chicks is wearing your shit. Local dope boys is wearing your shit. Prostitutes and strippers is wearing your shit. We need them too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you and then they, strippers and, and prostitutes got money too. I love them. What are you talking about? They do. You, you know what I'm saying? And then you got the regular people that work for uh, hard for their living mm -hmm. wearing your shit. Mm -hmm. So you really like the Nino Brown. Of motherfucking clothes design right now, and I'm sitting in the Carter. 
<laughs> so, this the trap house. You feel me? The trap house. And this is the light skinned right. nigga from the bay. <laughs> Don't be trying to say, I, I, I did it. <laughs> he started. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why do I be the light skin? When you are light skin. And, and you're, and you're from the bed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You gonna How does that, that feel skin. now? Like, for real, for real? Like, like, I like, I don't want you to I understand, like, when you women, you want to be humble. You don't want to rub no shoulders the wrong way because mm-hmm. you want to keep the support going. Because the support in Philly is fickle. As soon as a motherfucker <laughs> feel like you want your own dick, they're like, I ain't got that <laughs> shit no more. But how it feel to like sit back and every time you turn on the brand, motherfuckers rocking this shit. Yeah. It's, it's definitely overwhelming. Um, it's a blessing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a definitely a blessing because I, I wake up and, and do this for a living, but for the people of Philly, to support and hold me down, this is a whole nother heart wrenching, you know, feeling. Because people don't have to support your brand. People don't have to love what you do. People don't even have to understand what you do. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just a bigger feeling for people to support you and actually like your designs. Because that's that's a whole nother thing in a nutshell. Also, people have to like what you do. They have to like you as a person. Yeah. Um, and it is, it is definitely a certain level of humbleness that you have to have for people to accept you. Mm-hmm. So um, it's, it's a challenge of trying to stay humble and be um, a black business owner, a boss. Mm-hmm. All definitely at the same time, boss. you have to delegate things, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm a softy, so it's hard for me sometimes. I got to like man up. Yeah. Boss up, man. Gotta boss up. That's it. So, I mean, if you ever need a enforcer, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm telling you, up. if you need a motherfucking supervisor, <laughs> I, I know I should call you. You come, listen, I come here quick. You better sew that shit and get it the fuck right. I don't care if you don't speak English. So, <laughs> speaking of that, I'm, I'm thinking about going back to college um, for communications and language. Like, I'm dying to. Man, you better get Rosetta Stone. You got all this money, just get Rosetta Stone. What do you think is going to work? I, it works. I'm drinking a lot of wine, so. Don't drink while you're watching Rosetta okay. Stone. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> drink like while you're might... practicing the language. Right. That's how I learned Spanish. I mean, boca la cocaína, papi. Toda la, toda la. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You learned Spanish from going to the poppy store, nigga. No, I learned Spanish from going to the poppy store. Well, again, doesn't the poppy store help you? It's different from going to the poppy store <laughs> and the poppy shop. You know what I mean? That is so funny. You feel me? Uh, you know what I, I definitely do, I can say, mm-hmm. as a consumer, I like is that you actually, it's like you celebrate the people that buy your, mm-hmm. your stuff. Like, That's a good you point. don't just throw up, you know, uh, celebrities on your mm-hmm. gram. Mm-hmm. You throw up Joe Schmo on your gram. If, like, if he comes mm-hmm. up, Mm-hmm. It's going on the ground. And I think that's like part of the reason why, you know what I mean, even, I mean, I definitely like your design. Yeah. But I, I also know, like, you know what I mean, I could text you and ask you a question and you'll right. respond. There's yeah. a difference. With, I don't get those responses, though. Like, I'll inbox L, like, baby, sis, what's popping? You gotta text wop, me. Wop, wop, wop. And it'll be like, that's one of them thirsty niggas. I ain't <laughs> <seen> that shit. <laughs> Mr. No. Revere, I'm just big bro trying to reach out. <laughs> That's it. Don't no. throw me into the I, I, I don't. Put, I don't text and be like, "What's up?" I'll be like, "Yo, I would really like to do an interview with you, please." <laughs> this is revealing. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, "No, you peasant. I'll see you when I return no. from Dubai." No, if you text me, I, I get it. Mm-hmm. But those DMs sometimes it gets massive in my, in, I believe in my it. world. I believe it. It's it's hard to like keep up with it. But the Texas. But but on speaking of that topic, they just said. I, I do like to post, you know, just everyday people yeah. rocking my stuff. Because a lot of people are posting more celebrity people or the, what they say, the Instagram mm-hmm. model. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's really like the people mm-hmm. of the city that hold me down. So why not show love back? And a lot of my customers will say that. They say, you know, you you post us like you, you don't like all bougie mm-hmm. and, you know, X, Y, Z. But these are the people that are supporting my brand yeah. and holding me down. Yeah. You you need that love, so why not show it back? And I don't just keep real. I just want to tell a real story, if you allow me to tell <laughs> a sure. real story. Like, real real story. Story. like when you come here, I'll show love, B. 
Like I'm just keeping it a hundred. Like I came in, like first time I ever met L. L came to the state talking his show bearing gifts. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna tell you the end result or any of those <laughs> with the gifts, but the gifts was love. B. I'm listen, love. I show up today. I'm like, L, this shit dope. I need this, I need this, and I need this. L, like, big bro, <laughs> it's love. Go. I said, no, 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 no. I came to spend money. You know what I'm saying? Support black business. Support, support <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I can't go in the Gucci store and be like, let me get this for free. So why come here? Right and expect it for free. You know what I mean? You ain't going to go and get nothing for free from none of them white people. So why come to the black people want it for free? Spend your money, man. I appreciate you, baby. Says, well, well, that, well, that. So we got, uh, we got, what is it? Black Friday coming up? Black yeah. Friday yeah. Coming up. What's going on at the Elmer Fair? It is. I know you didn't even tell me. I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, we are. <laughs> you know, that's nice, though, because Black Friday, I'll definitely be doing a Black Friday sale. Um, and that's also like the kickoff to my birthday. Well, my birthday is December 3rd. Ah, Sagittarius. But, Sagittarius, yes. But, ah, are you a Sagittarius? No, no. Oh, I okay. <laughs> Libra? Yeah. Oh, I get along with Libra. One of my best friends. Oh, and now you're Libra. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is it? I'm a Leo. Yeah, no. Leo. <laughs> Leo. Leo's are good people, though. Really? I got the shirt. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right. That's a gay one. <laughs> but but I'm definitely doing a Black Friday sale. <laughs> Yo, my man, he hates light skinned people. <laughs> Yo, light skinned person took his chick back in the day. I swear to God. Nah, not light skinned. <laughs> he was dark skinned with more money. <laughs> so I, I had to level up. But see, you kind of like on a cusp a little bit. No, don't do that, sis. No, I'm just saying. I'm like, chocolate. I'm not caramel. <laughs> I'm not know. toffee. <laughs> you he he ain't trying to be brown skin. He trying to be dust skin. I'm like milk chocolate. Cause you know, I wedge in the middle a little bit. You want to put what you like? Caramel, caramel. Yeah. Put a hint of you're cocoa. The, you like you like you like latte. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm like black coffee, no sugar, no cream. You might be latte a little bit. Nah, nah. Well, my attitude's like is is uh like chocolate. <laughs> he got dark skin nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for all my for all my strong black brothers. Yeah. Right, but but anywho, I, I'll definitely be doing a Black Friday sale. Mm -hmm. Work out all the details now. Um, I'm coming back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my door is always open. And I'm spending money. And the you know, website's always, always open. Yes, the website is always open. Um, you can definitely purchase El Revere products on uh www.elrevere.com and um, also check out my latest pieces uh, on my Instagram which is at elrevere1 um, there's, there's, there's tons of ways I'm, I'm listed on google.com mm -hmm. where you can find my store hours and directions uh, social media outlets uh, Facebook which is uh, lovey L -O -V dot e I mean L O V E dot Revere, which is Lovey Revere on Facebook. So, um, and then word of mouth. Word of yeah. mouth is amazing and yes. really right now. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a lot of people supporting independent black businesses, mm -hmm. which is really really nice right now because Philadelphia always gets that rap of city of brotherly love, but really city hate. Yeah, you know, and it is like that at times mm -hmm. here, but. You know. I remember two years ago you you was like, yo, motherfuckers be hating. Yeah. Motherfuckers hating on you and shit like that. Is the hate gone? Is the hate gone or did the hate no. get strong? <laughs> it's, not, it's not gone. It probably will never be gone, but I I think those are the things that like make 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 my brain grow. Um so even if they hate me talking. I'll be honest. It's subliminal. <laughs> yeah. It's always subliminal. This might sound crazy though. I don't want your haters to go away. Me either. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Because the nigga who live under the bridge ain't got no haters, mm -hmm. baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The motherfucker that drive, that drive by in the Maybach, when you in your Honda Accord, mm -hmm. like, fuck that nigga in that Maybach. Yeah. 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 So I, I need you to get more haters. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with the Honda Accord, though. No. Like, bring the Honda Accord, we ballin'. <laughs> but... 
It's a different type of hate when that Maybach drives by. It's a different Listen, type of hate. My fraternity, my, my, my fraternity brother owns a Maybach. Mm-hmm. I pulled up. I thought I was doing something with my Range Rover. Mm-hmm. That nigga pulled up in the Maybach. I said, fuck that. <laughs> and you liked it, nigga. And I love it. That's my God. That's my fucking God. You he got a little tinge of hate in the blood. He <laughs> pulled up. I said, this is the kind of hate where you gotta tell him about and it. And I'm dead. <laughs> I hopped in the car. He hopped in the car. He said, fuck you, nigga. When you get this, let me drive it. <laughs> let me drive it. <laughs> and his brother got a fucking Bentley coupe. The first time I met that nigga, drove past me. I said, like, fuck your Bentley, nigga. <laughs> let me drive it. Let he's me like, he's like, he's like, you can drive it. Yeah, they'll hand you keys easy. I drove it around uptown. I pulled up my mezzanine. <laughs> Bitches was out there having that. It was like, hey, Zaddy. <laughs> yeah, you I was at like, the mezzanine. Come on and jump in here and speak to the microphone. <laughs> and then I drove off. They was mad. I'm sorry. I've been on another tangent. I'll find out. I got one day. I think we should add that segment to this show, like the Barksdale stories. <laughs> because I'll be having a lot of fun. Everything you be having story. a lot of stories. I, and I they all are that. factual. Like, I would never lie to you on camera. Unless I, unless it was of something my man did that I wouldn't tell you. About. Yeah, we gotta put it on camera too that that you guys are, are going to take me on my first honest trip. Experience. Let's go. Al. I, I wouldn't go with anybody else because you know you guys are my fam. Let's go. And we're we, we gonna, we gonna slap. My wife doesn't asses. like me to go to strip clubs, so go. I won't be going. I'll, I'll take okay. We're gonna slap fake asses. Right. We're gonna slap. Right, because I gotta do the test. The test. To the see test. What and what I'll bring them over. Milk. I'll bring them over. Feels like. And you'll see when you slap that. The room. When you slap that chick with the fake ass. It's gonna look all bouncy while she's dancing. <laughs> and you gonna slap it and you're gonna feel like you slap. Like you're not See, but look, what we have to make sure we do though, for me, mm-hmm. we have to go somewhere beforehand. So okay. when I tell the story, it's okay. the truth. Okay, I got so you. So I can be like, so yo, we went out for drinks at Yakutori Boy and yeah. ate sushi. And then and I just ended there. Right. Yeah. We gotta have the sushi. You gotta have the sushi. Gotta have the sushi. You, you eat sushi? Yes, I do, nigga, with wasabi sauce. But you can't eat fucking avocado. No, I ain't eat no food. He definitely eats sushi because he mentioned it. If you don't eat sushi, you, you don't, don't mention, mention it. it at all. Thank you. you you bypass any sushi conversation. Thank you. <laughs> hey, anyway, so when you slap that fake ass, like I know you're a cook because Mr. Revere won't let you not cook. Right. So you stuffed the turkey. We had that before. conversation. Yeah. You you stuffed the turkey before. Mm-hmm. You ever like slap the top of that turkey? I have not. Do it. <laughs> That's like slapping a fake ass. You like this shit so but, cold and But the soggy. turkey's got a little more texture to it, so it may yeah, bounce. It's little not little gonna bounce back. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so we back. <laughs> so I want to ask y'all since we got. Uh, uh, young, I would say a young lady. Team Revere in the building. So, let's get down to some ratchetness. What do you think about Nicki Minaj and Cardi B? Uh, now, I'm a little lost on it. Oh, this shit. Because I got, I got the initial beef. Mm. You don't want to know. I'll t- let me explain the beef I in, do. in layman's terms. I do. All right, in layman's terms, it's old head from the block that was getting money. Young boy from the block come up. He's getting more money. Mm-hmm. Old head on the block decides to hate on young boy. They get into a squabble. Young boy actually get out on old head. So now old head is doing everything in his power to talk shit on young boy. But young boy really just want to rumble or leave the shit alone. Okay. That's about it, right? Yeah. That, that sums up. So Nicki yeah. Minaj is talking a whole bunch of shit but don't want no smoke. Yeah, right. Much. I mean, I, it's because I, what I hear is the, the whole blackballing thing. Yeah, but black, black, black trying to block Cardi B. Well, trying I mean, to block her. Well, I guess, I don't know, man. I guess the way I look at it is, is like this, like, I think that uh, the difference between, like, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj is, like, one thing you, to me, what you got to give Cardi B is that Cardi B not a product of the machine. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody talking about hip-hop and signing the labels and all that shit. Like, Nicki Minaj is literally a product of the machine. Mm-hmm. When you think about Nicki Minaj in 2006, she ain't had no titties or that ass. Mm-hmm. She was just some cute chick from Queens that was rapping. The next thing you know, she signed her to the machine. She done got titties in her ass now. Mm-hmm. And now she's hypersexual. But if you remember, all her raps before was about selling dope and being a street chick from New York. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so... 
I feel like Cardi, Cardi got her titties and ass done not because she's part of the machine, but that's because she used her body to get money. Okay. And she openly admits that. You okay. understand what I'm saying? But Cardi, I feel like all her, all her fans, all her listeners is from the muscle. That's what I just feel like. I feel like I remember the first couple songs I ever heard from Cardi. I'm like, this shit, but. Mm-hmm. This shit is butt. Then she came out with Bodak Yellow, and I still was like, yo, this shit butt. But everybody else loved it. But do you think that Nicki's fans are not from the muscle as much as Cardi? No, I don't think that. I think a lot of Nicki fans spun off from Cash Money. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. The the, the, the machine. Mm -hmm. You attach to Lil Wayne and Drake, and you always on their shit, and they always on your shit. The fans... It'll blow you up. I think a lot of times, I think with Nicki, I think they, they really like the music. Okay. When it came to Cardi, they like Cardi. They like Cardi. They listen to the music because they like Cardi. Cardi yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and she seems, and I think she seems approachable. Mm-hmm. You know, she comes on social media and talks shit mm-hmm. like right. a regular okay. person. Mm-hmm. She snaps off on people like mm-hmm. a regular mm-hmm. person. She don't wear makeup all the time on camera. Like she'll get do a live post, yeah. like fresh out of the bed with a scarf yeah, and her hair will. not even done. And I just think oh, she'll be the everyday woman. She's she'll make she'll make herself vulnerable to the people mm-hmm. for the sake of the people related to her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whereas like Nicki Minaj, it was more of an image. Yeah. Like if you think about it, what she had the ball. What's his name? Who? Her me? old boyfriend. Who me? Safari. Nah, Safari. Mm-hmm. Walking like ten steps behind her. Right. All them years. Mm-hmm. So she was trying to project this image of, you know, she was sex symbol, whereas, you know, Cardi, she can get on camera and talk about sucking dick. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if you think about Nikki, she would never come, well, she talked about it. Yeah, I was about say, shit, well, But no. it, didn't, it didn't really seem real. It just seemed like a verse where she was just trying to brag about shit. But mm-hmm. it's like, you didn't really think like she was really doing a lot of this shit. She was just saying it to be, to get, be popular. Mm-hmm. Like be in, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I thought she was doing it. No. I, didn't, I didn't have her for doing it. I, I always, but have you ever seen, like, she always talk about girls, but have you seen her with a chick? Well, you're right. <laughs> that Cardi was a stripper. You know she went ate some pussy before, bro. <laughs> but she openly talked about chicks that she did it with. Like, yeah. Cardi or Nikki? Uh, Cardi. 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 You know Cardi not eat pussy. Yeah, you know Cardi's the real deal. There's, there's <laughs> exactly. No like, Cardi has there. no filter. Like, Cardi, yeah. Cardi not the type. Like, Cardi got beat up on camera, and Cardi was like, well, yeah, I got beat up, but you got to get fight to get beat right. up. Right, she's like, yeah, everybody take a loss sometimes. Yeah. And all you could say is, well, yeah, I didn't win every fight, so I understand. Yeah, she's you know definitely I mean? more relatable yeah. to people. Yeah. yeah. So I have a question. As, as a woman, mm-hmm. um, if, because this is what Nicki Minaj did, talk a whole bunch of shit mm-hmm. when she wasn't in the presence of Cardi. Mm-hmm. And when Cardi came and they were in the same room, Cardi wanted that smoke. Right. And Nikki was like, I'm just going to stand over here. With my security. As a woman, I know y'all supposed to be pretty and not, well, some of y'all not supposed She's to fight. She's fighting for El Rivera. Is, is, that some, is, that some, <laughs> is that some bitch shit to talk all that shit but not want to fight? She will have to worry about it. Person. She will be worried about El Rivera, but that's the one that's going to hit her. That's a question. All right. That's the brand. Right, that's the brand. brand. Yes, it is. Okay. But I, I, I feel like, like you said, gotta protect the brand. I feel like, I guess. Damn, she looks like she wants smoke now. She Nicki Minaj thinking, is thinking protecting it. her brand, but you know, what I mean? you know, in street terms, you can't talk all the ish and then not mm-hmm. want to back it up. So. But I think Cardi coming out of that situation with a lump on her head was Cardi protecting her brand too. Mm-hmm. Because Cardi's brand is vulgarity, yeah. barbarism, ratchetness, directness. Yeah, it is. Hood shit. So the fact that she blew the shoe and wanted smoke and security had to fuck her up mm-hmm. just makes her story more believable. It does. Her it does. More of what it is. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And Nicki Minaj didn't help nothing, didn't do nothing but help. Yeah. Fuel that. Fuel, the more yeah. she talks down on Cardi and try to make Cardi look like she's nothing, the more she fuels Cardi's story and she mm-hmm. don't even understand it. Like when you really an OG, like you can't pay attention to young boys. You gotta be like, young boy, do your thing. Yeah, you do. Do mm-hmm. your thing. I'm gonna get my money. I'm gonna like, 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 uh, 
What movie I just seen recently? Remember the fucking movie True to the Game shit yeah. that they did here in the city and shit? Mm-hmm. I watched the movie, and the, my, my biggest thing that I thought about the movie is like, the nigga that's been selling dope for all this long, he would have never paid attention to the youngies. He would have never come versed with him. It would have never been no interaction yeah. for a nigga to spin around and shoot you later on in the movie. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't even know who the fuck you are. Right. So it's like, nigga, you on this high horse, why does Cardi even have access to you? Yeah. She yeah. should have to talk to some a couple people before she to get ever, to you. Yeah, and, and so I thought that that that's what Nicki Minaj just intent was. I got this security surrounding me. You can't get to me. Mm-hmm. I think that in in the people's eyes, it came across as you talk a lot of shit and you can't back it up. But in Nicki's eyes, it came across as you can't touch me, my security is gonna put a lump on you. Mm-hmm. But it's still to the people, they're not buying it. Yeah. But in her eyes, it's like, I'm gonna touch you when you didn't touch me. Yeah. You're you're throwing shit, you're doing all that, but you didn't touch me. Yeah. But still in Cardi's eyes, it still made her look better because yeah. she's sticking true to who she is. Yeah. You're trying to block me, I'm gonna call you out, I'm gonna put it out there for the world to see. So it's like like you said, you you fueled that fire, mm-hmm. even though you thought you was blocking it. She still came out looking like you did what you did to her, mm-hmm. and this is her backlash yeah. for what you did. Yep. So it, it's it's kind of like it's I don't know. Tougher. Yeah. yeah, I think at the end, fuck both of them because none of them wear El Revere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna agree with you. <laughs> I'm gonna agree with you. So. Next, we're gonna talk about the petty. homie. We're gonna talk about super petty. petty. Super petty. 50 petty. I wanna see if Elvin Beer Petty sent. So Elvin Beer is super petty. <laughs> you can see it in her face. <laughs> so, apparently, Drive Rule, I mean, I'm sorry, 50 Cent decided to buy 200 of Drive Rule's concert tickets all in the front row. So that the off front of the group pod. Yeah. So that the group pod. So, so, the, so the front rows would be empty. Now, do they have a major beef? This shit been going on since 2006. Oh, okay. 2005. <laughs> she trying to make it look like you old head. Like, what's going on between those guys? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I tend to forget about Ja Rule. No pun intended, but I... Yeah, because you wasn't... You probably but, wasn't old enough to remember. No, just... Really just no, he was. I was... I'm she like, I'm saying... Like, but I, 50, he's always being petty, but mm-hmm. I just... Yeah, so 50. A lot of times it's with females too. He a bitch ass nigga. But well, well, he do do some shit that I co sign. Like, if I walk over and I'm throwing stripper money on stripper <laughs> and she do some goofy shit that makes me mad, I'm taking all my fucking did, did money back. Did you see that? Too. Fuck <laughs> you. I yeah. did. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm taking all my money back. And if she make any move to snatch my money, it's yeah. over. <laughs> like, the, the, the worst thing he did to Job Roll was rap about how. Bad it was that Ja Rule was singing on tracks. Right. And then, and then soon as his career <laughs> grind to a halt, he 50 started, started singing on, on tracks. tracks. Yeah. And doing the same shit 50 mm-hmm. was doing with the shot. Uh, ja Rule was doing with what? Ash- Ash- Ashanti. Ashanti. He started, he started doing with Olivia. Yeah. I think the biggest thing about it was that when Ja Rule was up so much, he shouldn't even pay no attention to 50 Cent. You already beat him the fuck up real bad, stabbed him up in the studio. Right. Why you gonna go back and forth? on records with him, like, he a bitch and he a rat. 50 Cent is like the biggest rat in New mm. York history. Like, real shit, like, that was the name of the song where he told him about uh, Oh, Ghetto Quran. When he told on everybody, <laughs> he told, I, I'm mad that he called it the Ghetto Quran, but <laughs> everything he talked about in that shit was her mom. Like, don't call it the Ghetto Bible. Don't call it the Ghetto Bible. <laughs> don't give it to us. You know what I'm saying? It's all you, Cliff. Yeah, right? Don't give it to us. Get, 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 get the Ghetto Torah, the Ghetto Jehovah Witness. What is it called? The Ghetto Tower? What is it? The Tower? The High Tower? The, what is it? The Watchtower? What is the it? That, that, that the Jehovah Witness give you? Like, do you know Jesus Christ is coming? Yeah. What, is the, what is it called? The Watchtower. It's the called Watchtower. Watchtower. <laughs> call it the Ghetto Watchtower. Don't yeah, give it, don't give it to us. us. I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about 50 Cent ratting ass. Him and Whitey Bulger. 50 Cent ratting on good niggas. So, I guess the question is, is, is that... Don't give it to us. Him, him buying <laughs> us. 
Don't give it that, Is him buying out 200 seats at a Ja Rule concert so the front rows would be empty? Is that acceptable? Pet? Now, was he helping Ja Rule out? I mean, Ja Rule still got the money. He still <laughs> That's got what I'm saying. No, was, he did it so, he could, so they could take pictures of the front row of his concert. And empty. And empty. But, but I got the cash. But you got the yeah, cash. Got the money. This, it's like that NWA movie when they all threw the CDs. Yeah. He said, like, well, they well, they paid for that shit. Yeah, they they bought, bought it. Then I got my bread. Yeah. <laughs> then I might send, I might take a picture and send 50 uh, uh, hashtags. Yeah. I, think, I think you know. Like, you know I mean, I think, uh, I mean, if I was John Rule, I would look at it like, yo, thanks. But there's still an all like you sorry, out Sorry, not sorry. Like, How would I be without you? <laughs> and it's no problem. You know what? He didn't, need, he didn't need that first row anyway nobody, when he sang that song. There's nobody out there. Where would I be without my baby? And there's no bitches right there pouring at your leather pants, cheering for you. No one's in the mosh pit. No one? No. Yeah. You, the only, you hear all the claps from the eighth row. <laughs> they can't get to you. Well, my baby, and those bitches did. Yeah, I guess. You know, they didn't want to be there anyway. So no, they probably would have been there if Fifty didn't. It's like if I if I hated Meek Mills that much that I bought like the first ten rolls of Powerhouse. So when he come out, hold on, wait a minute. Like nobody's there. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's there. there. <laughs> no one's waiting. A no one. No one's with their iPhones jumping up and down like fuck. Yeah, yeah. No, you couldn't do that, man. I mean, I could. I'm they, not that they, they protest outside of the building like he Joe Clark. Okay, Joe Clark. So you think they protest? Joe Clark still got fired. He wasn't Joe Clark. Yes, he did. They let him back. They, no, but he they still let got him fired. Back. He did get fired. He did get fired. They let him, they let him back after the movie, but then the next year the <laughs> state took over uh, Isa High and got fired. Fair <laughs> Isa. <Isai. laughs> yeah, my favorite part of that movie was like, you smoke crack, don't you? What, what's that? Well, don't wait. Do it expeditiously. Jump. You smoke crack, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now, first off, I just want to thank baby sis for coming, letting us come to her. The L. Revere Law. The loft, the, the loft of Revere. I got my light. Listen, it's a light. It's like a faggot. L. Revere. <laughs> Um, it's so funny because right, it is. Turn this now. it's actually a real animal. Yeah, it is. It's when a, a, it's when a, 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 lion, a male a lion have sex with a female tiger. Right. They a make a, a liger cut. And then it's but then they can't reproduce, tiger. right? They can't reproduce. Who can? What? Yeah, two what ligers. What the fuck are you talking about? They have baby ligers. They have baby ligers, yeah. What do you think they make when they fucking? Yo, I hate you. <laughs> you with the drag suit. <laughs> That's that drink some shit, man. That's that drink some shit. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Yo, man, we supposed to be in the show. Oh, anyway. <laughs> thanks, thanks for being with us for letting us come to the to the, to the Loft. Can we come back? Can sure. Come back? I love we when have, you guys. We have brown liquor next time. Yes. And brown liquor. And my friends. I don't want any females. I, I, listen, I just want to meet Team Revere. This is the team. Okay, so. Most of the time we have guests and they got the shooters in the back, the shooters don't talk. Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to go next time? I'm saying she already told you that she's protecting the brand, so you talk. Protecting the brand, all day. You keep talking, you keep talking, Dad. You gonna catch some hands? I ain't got nothing to do with it. I can't, I can't fuck up. That's my thing. Wait, she, she got the laptop out. You know she means this. Then why does she put all the shit down? It's quite good. What the fuck? You know it's from a discord. Yo, Miss Rivera, can you stop giving your friends liquor? <laughs> no, because we drunk liquor too. No, not that. I'm talking about not us. We drink liquor. She has, what are you, yo, I, yo, you a selfish, light skin boy, man. <laughs> you never fucking get anyway. Shout out to Baby Sis for letting us come to Go me. vote. Please go vote next Please Tuesday. go vote. Then after you vote, come to the loft and pop up. You know what I'm saying? And Baby Sis, man, I wish you all the luck in the world. You know what I mean? I pray a lot to be blessing you, man. Just don't big Thomas at Why? At some point, don't big Thomas. That's all I ask. Yeah, don't big Thomas. You, no, know, I, I, you. <laughs> <laughs> you got the family out of no big time. That's it, man. I'll be here. When, when, you, when your shit yeah. start costing like a thousand, <laughs> that's when I need the family. You know what I'm saying? That's when you're like, bro, I got you. Shop up. All this shit. Like, man. That's when I'm just going to be like, no, the package coming. 